her again. You know, <laughs> you know we have to go to Bucky's at least once, right? Of course. I think I've been here before. So for all of you who aren't from the United States, I don't even know if there's a Bucky's elsewhere, but Bucky's is this thing, especially in the South. It's uh, the typical supersized American stuff. Truck stop. Tr it's like a truck stop times a hundred. Um, oh, I gotta find it. Yet with all of these pumps, I can't even find one. Ooh, somebody's harness. Big. Um, so I'm hungry. I was gonna ask you. <laughs> I was gonna ask you what's deaf? What's D? Oh, diesel. Great. Sun. You um, would go into this spot. Yes. Uh, yeah. Which one can't take? Oh, I'll go in that uh, one. Uh, there's like a hundred pumps. So. I know the worst thing about going to CrimeCon for you is being away from Moon. Oh my gosh, I almost couldn't leave. <laughs> almost couldn't leave. Oh my gosh, and she was looking at me with these eyes like, Mom, what's, don't you love but me? But, on the upside, what's the thing you're looking forward to the most? Well, I don't know if everybody knows these <laughs> creators, but... Well, probably is. One of my favorite is going to be their um, Ten to Life by Annie Elise. And, uh... She's going to be actually making a podcast while we're there. She's doing like, a, a live? Yeah, she's doing a pod, live podcast with us in the a audience. A live podcast. That is cool. I'm so looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm weekly. Can you imagine getting his law enforcement experience advice on the things that we're learning? And her... Well, I mean, she's, she's great too. He's got a lot no, of horses. No, uh, she's my favorite. I love how he reacts to the story, but he doesn't know anything about it. She yeah, tells that's the story. Fun. So, anyway, I'm probably going to bring the, my little camera in into oh, Bucky's so people can see what Bucky's looks like. Because it's freaking it's huge. It's huge. All right, I'm going to put some gas in. I'm excited. In I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Triple shot espresso. That's for the morning. That's true. All right, we made it. This is our little Airbnb. I came into you bending over. Oh, <laughs> so we like we like uh, compact Airbnbs because yes. they're inexpensive, but they have everything you need. So and they're just the right size for me. Yes. <laughs> well, me me too, pretty much. I might bang into things sometimes, but True. there's got to be a. Big screen TV, or a TV at least, so we can watch Netflix and movies and stuff and like that. And of course in Nashville you have pictures of people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we figure out who I'm these so, are. I'm so bad, Kay. I don't know anything. Now, these are probably famous people. You think so? 
and we don't know who they are. And I bet our viewers are like, I knew it. Look at the dude. He's got tons of tattoos. Okay, so here's a here's a quiz. Okay. Who are these people? We're going to show you who these people are, and you got to tell us if you know. Here's number one. Well, wait, maybe they're like nobody. They're just cool pictures. Yeah, just cool pictures. Number two, I like the shot Sour Patch. <laughs> this guy looks like somebody I've seen before. This guy. But it's hard with the mask. You know what? It's probably like well-known locals. Maybe. It's probably well-known locals. Okay, Vanna White, give the tour of the kitchen. Well, over here, we have the bar. The bar. Which we have already taken over with trash. Yes, we have. Uh, no, electronics, that's Stuff. not trash. And over here is the other side of the bar. <laughs> the other side of the bar. Okay, here we next. have the... the Actually, this the is the place. These are nice. It is very nice. New Whirlpool appliances. Everything. Everything good. Whirlpool. Nice um, organization. Everything you need. Everything you everything. need. Even. Look at that. Everything you need. Thank goodness we've got coffee. Oh, yeah. Fridge. And... Bedroom. Bedroom. Cute little desk nook so thing. we know how you are about how things are decorated are you happy with the de decor well i like the minimalism <laughs> seriously i know i like it's minimal? fairly min well not with our stuff in here right now no, but, but yeah it's fairly min minimal you know what clean, this is clean you know lines and all that and this is a very nashville like bed yeah because it's right? got some the, glitter we've got no. some glitter on the on the that Hello? sheep, that sheep. Oh. That's like, you know, that's like that's the... Like... <laughs> what are you even trying to say? Shows how little I know like about. A, like a um, dwarf? The style. <laughs> no, the know. style. Yeah, yeah. We'll just call the it southern. Bathroom. Actually, the bathroom is very clean, too. It's, yeah, look. Where's the light? The sign. Where's the light? That's kind of funny. Fresh and clean. It's so clean. <laughs> Walk-in shower. Walk-in cool. shower. Nice. Yeah, this is uh, this would yeah, be comfortable. We're happy. This would be comfortable for a week. We usually have good um, luck with Airbnb. Well, but I we have in a couple. I look for like the highest rated ones. So he he can find so. great ones for a great price. Yeah, I just yeah. I just did a good. Great advent. ones for, for a great, great price. price. The only thing with this one, well, the outside is nice. It's well, let's show them the. Yeah. Oh wait, we have to walk around. That's okay. It's it's. Um, small, but it, and, but it's completely but fenced in, so you got your privacy. See, so you. But the thing is, it's like a, it's like a brick building, but it's private. You got a whole fence, fenced in area. But we've got this. I yeah, this that I love that. Really cute. With I love that. Teak set and yep. all that. I think that's teak. Or I don't know. It looks like it, but we may have to throw some pillows, but yeah, that's cute. It is very cute. It's very cute. I love it. Just what we need, you know? Chill out after And I, I, I tell you, having an Airbnb is so much better than going to a hotel. Oh, absolutely. It just, I don't know. Well, hotels are boring, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, too clean. <laughs> you know? Yeah, too, yeah. Too clean. Like, it doesn't feel like somebody lives there, you know? It doesn't feel homey. Not at all homey or anything like that. All right. Okay, so we're going to settle in. We have the... Comic Con starting at Comic Con. We're not going to Comic Con. You know what? How many people? I just responded to someone in email today, and I said, "Sorry, I haven't responded. I'm too busy. We've been we're, we've been getting ready for Comic Con," and I had to <laughs> I had to reply again and go, "I meant I, I you just can't again. even say it. I meant Crime, Crime Con, Con because our kids have said Comic Con so much. Well, because they would go to they, those. They always go to those. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's nine o'clock in the morning, I think. Yeah, we start not a uh, check in. I don't know if it's check in or welcome or uh, something like There's that. Like a welcome There's thing. something. So we're gonna go there at nine o'clock. You know what the worst part is though. What? What? I miss. Moon. I know I miss Moon too. It was really hard leaving her, wasn't it? Yes, I'm just glad she's with a trusted family member. Oh yes. I mean, she'll be fine. I I I might not though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tomorrow we'll be scoping things out, seeing how it is, and then. Saturday pronounce and Saturday I think is when you get to see the show Annalise, right? Ah, uh, my favorite my favorite YouTuber. YouTube cr true crime person. Tend to Life by Annie Elise. Yes. And her um podcast called Serialistly, which is very hard to say. Mm. Serial 
That's Lee. <laughs> That's her podcast, but she shows it on YouTube too. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that and some of the people like John Walsh yes. and um, Candace DeLong and Crime Weekly. You know, Crime Weekly. All that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the law enforcement folks. Oh yeah, that'll be cool. All right, so we're going to settle in for the night and head out there tomorrow. So we'll see yeah. you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. So, like this coffee. how do you feel at 7 in the morning? I just said I do not like this coffee maker. Why? <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's not mine. <laughs> yeah, well, the pot's like tiny. Yeah. It's, it's half the, well, it's a quarter of the coffee we normally drink. You're, you're listening to yourself, like, you always drink more. Do you one of these things, one of these carafes is a cup of coffee? <laughs> my, my, she's right, my mugs <coughs> are, one mug at home is about twice this size. So we managed to go to bed at like, what, 10? Yeah, believe it or not. 10 o'clock. Somehow I woke up at 6.30. No, 6. No, 5.30. I woke up what? at yeah. I woke up at five thirty. Could not go back to sleep. You never wake up. At I know. So Jen was able to manage to wake up at seven. Yeah. Took a shower. But I'm all I'm more ready to go. I can't even talk. <laughs> I like your shirt. Okay. Show everyone your shirt. Uh, I feel like I'm flashing them. <laughs> <laughs> How are you flashing? <laughs> so, plan today. Apparently, the the help section of the website said there's there's um, not not easy access to food. Apparently, that's what you said. So I guess we gotta bring snacks with us. Yeah. Sucks because I was looking forward. I thought there would be a really good food. Well, there's. Remember the restaurants there? But they're going to be probably yeah. packed. Impossible to get food. So we're going to have to go get food to bring with us. Backpack, camera gear. It goes from 9 until like 7.30. 7.30 at night. That's a long day. It sucks because it, why does it keep saying it sucks? Is that okay? Yeah. Because I don't know. I'm I don't know. Afraid. These days I don't know what's okay to say. Uh, the person I want to see most is the last. Annalise. Annalise. Yeah. Annie. Annie. Sorry, Annie Elise. Annie Elise. Elise. Annie Elise. That's really hard to say. It's not. She's at six thirty. Yeah. And then after that, we're pigging out. We're gonna go get food, bring it back here. It's a good idea. Just snack during the day and then just. Yeah. Okay, that's the plan. We're gonna finish our coffee. You didn't say bye. bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
like locally so but I mean you, you may be surprised there may be some like early 2000 yeah, yeah. almost 13,000 13,000 We stayed here what three, four times? Okay, so we just went through the whole expo, and, and that I'm was... I'm like cross-eyed right now. Cross, she's cr <laughs> cross. I'm tired. Wait, no, like... this is what happens to me when I get around so much energy. Like, I'm so unfocused right now, I can't even... Well, for me, it was like, there's a long line for Crime Weekly. It took forever. No. Of course, that's Jen's favorite. Wait, I shouldn't say well, favorite. No. Annalise's. Oh, Annalise's. Oh, 
You don't even want to say which one's your favorite. I okay. watch them all. So, <laughs> all equally. Crime Weekly is one of her favorites, and the, there's a long line to see them. They were wonderful, very sociable, talked to us for a little bit about the Summer Wells case, believe it or not. I chatted yeah. with... Annie Elise? No, I chatted oh, with the guy. Rachel. Oh, Oh. Um, Derek Lavasser. Derek. I can't believe I don't even remember his Eric name. Derek or Derek. I'm so bad. So I, Lavasser. I know his last name yeah. is Lavasser. I chatted with Lavasser because he actually asked our opinion on Summer Wells, well, which shocked me. And so, yeah, and, uh, um, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> she got her picture taken with Crime Weekly, Annie oh. Elise, yeah. Annie Elise. Yeah, and, and Rachel and Shannon. Rachel Shannon. And, oh, uh, yeah, Stephanie Harlow. Stephanie from Crime Weekly asked talk to me about Summerwell's case. Do you want me to tell you what she said? No. Okay. Because we don't know if she, she wants it okay, out. Okay, yeah. So. She asked my opinion and she and I pretty much agreed. So that's yep. what I'll say. <laughs> and Mr. Love Astor did too. And yes. we shared the same opinion, believe it or not. Him and I yep. agree on that. Um, so, and, and they, I think all three of them did a Summer Wells video, so yes. you should really check that out because they're so good. Yes. You know, they, they do their research. So, oh yeah oh my gosh yeah. um and then we met the family member of and the brother of, of gabby petito gabby petito chatted for a while with them that was i wasn't expecting to jen okay i'll admit it i i don't i don't follow the case because i yeah. only follow local cases and jen was like afterwards she was like ryan ryan do you know about that case i'm like you know who you're talking to <laughs> and i'm like i idiot like I, I mean they introduced themselves so after a while i figured it out and um we just talked for a long time and yeah they were very sweet and i could tell the brother had sadness in his yeah. eyes i could just see it i feel so bad for them yep that is the, that girl seemed so sweet and uh such a sad case yeah um it was really nice I, I filled right in on it. and somehow she knew about us like i was shocked yeah, so she, she said we she were. told us we're doing a good job and we're, um, you know, not taking part in all the drama as much as we she, can help, you yep. know. She said thank you for not being tragedy pimps. Yep. That was nice to hear. That so. is one of our goals. Yes. I mean, I don't want to take away from any case we do because the more time you spend, you know, being a tragedy pimp, the more time is taken away from the actual case. And the person who actually matters, which right. is the missing person. Right. So I'm happy with their opinion that we're going the right. Yeah, the I'm, right, I'm, um, I'm happy people actually and, people actually recognize that yeah. they were trying so so hard. She told us about other people we're not going to mention, mm -hmm. who she was like, you know, they came one year and acted all tragedy pimp, mm -hmm. like just harassing other her and YouTube stuff. Channels. Other YouTube channels just yeah, harassing she got her. Harassed. And, I, I, it's so sad. The I mean, family of a missing person. It's just yeah. horrible. But, you know, that did happen this year. This year looked great and everything went yeah, great. Yeah, it looked like they weren't stopped this year. <laughs> they were no. stopped pretty much last year. They were stopped. Yeah. But this was this was a great experience. Meeting yeah. three, three channels that I see on television constantly because someone keeps watching them all the time. Oh, I gotta say, I got Annie Elise's signature. I and hope you guys know what I'm talking. I mean, she has over a million subscribers. Of course, they know so what you're guys, talking about. She has over a million subscribers. And so. I asked every one of them to make just a few fewer episodes uh, because they're always on our television set. So they said they would try for me to reduce <laughs> the number of. And they said Andy said she'd try, but everybody gets mad at her when she doesn't upload a video. Yep. Like people, and I, I'm with her, with them. <laughs> I mean, they should all do it every day. I mean, every day, every day. Yeah. So we, we know how that, how easy that is. Oh yeah. Oh, every day. <laughs> and it's not like they don't have like people the, working with like a crew. That, yeah, or, you know? that's true. So um, that's the big difference. Mm. I wish editing was easier, honestly. So we're going to rest for a little bit. My knees, I mean, we hike all the time. My knees yeah. hurt more than when we hike, which is crazy. I'm just mentally tired. I just need to pull off a bit. She was shaking when we got out of there. She's like seeing cross-eyed, emotionally, just like, Bleh. Yeah. That was a lot all at once. Because it, it was a mixture between, um, like, people who were sad, you know, people who were sad about their case, and then 
you know, people who are excited. Yeah, that's true. To share cases. So it was like two, all these different emotions yeah, going, that's a good going point. through the, yeah. whole, the whole thing. So I can't even. That's a good point. In that same room, there was like, yeah. I can't even focus of, right now. A mix of emotion. Yeah, and, and we get both sides, I think, don't we? Yeah, that was a cool experience, and we haven't even been to any of the um, talks yet. I'm like, okay, I'm good. I haven't been to any of the talks yet. <laughs> I'm good. So we still have the whole weekend ahead of us, and we're looking forward to it. So we're going to rest, and we will um, update you all later. Yep. What did you think? Would you think of Annie Elise live? Annie Elise? That's what I said. Annie Elise. Would you, oops, hold on a second. Would you? Okay. Would you think of Annie Elise live? I think she was just like she usually is, which is nice. Yeah, she doesn't even have to like fix mistakes. She's all polished. She just does her thing. She said she was nervous in front of a crowd, but I didn't see it. Oh, she's not nervous. Yeah. So this is end of day one. We are headed back to our Airbnb. We're and still alive. We're still alive. And you're like, I did everything I wanted to do. Ah, uh, we could go home now. <laughs> Something about day one, I mean. It's, we did everything we wanted everything to. Everything on my list. So tomorrow we'll just see what, what kind of trouble we can get into. Maybe take it a little easy. Okay. Good? Day two, it's a little rainy, and uh, yesterday, I don't know how we can possibly top yesterday. Oh my gosh. That was like... Yesterday was perfect, and I'm wearing my criminal coffee t-shirt <laughs> today. That is cool. Shout out to... Um, what? I'm too excited. <laughs> you forgot their name. Crime Weekly. Shout out to Crime Weekly. <laughs> so nice to talk to you. I'm not going to edit that part out either. That's funny. No. But today, today, um, there's so many really good talks. We missed the cult one this morning, unfortunately, because we kind of slept in. But there's a lot of good ones. We're going to be seeing the sister of... Gabby Petito. No. Lord. Well, we're going to be seeing the um, mother-in-law, and I think the mother is going to be there. They're going to do their talk today. The talks today? Mm -hmm. The one we met yesterday in person. And her mother. Yes. And then we're going to see the sister of Lori, uh, not the sister, but the Lori Vallow case, right? Yeah, I think. Is that today? Yes. Uh, okay, well, there's another Excited good one. Excited about that one. Yeah. I want to, I watched American Nightmare last night, the documentary. There's a talk on that one that I really want to go see because it made me really mad and we're covering that. We're okay. covering that case because so many people don't know the end of it and it, makes me really angry at law enforcement and the media yeah and then we're at the end we're watching the one about media's ethical ethical yes. media on social media 
ethical social mm -hmm. media. That one we're really interested in yes. because of and what we've seen. And maybe we'll do a, a live on that. Like, I think we might. We should do, do a live today. Do some. Oh, that'd be fun. You know, just, <laughs> just let's do it. I was going to wait till Sunday, but Sunday it's ending. So I want to try to interview NCIS and ask him just a quick, quick question about mm -hmm. um, if someone finds, thinks they found something. Should they dig or should they report? I want to get some evidence gathering information from them. And uh, I, we, unfortunately, we can't record even bits of the pieces of the conference, but I'll take pictures. What do people do? I don't know, but not for, for publishing on social no. media. Well, so. some, like around what's going on the outside. The outside, yes. I'll record all that I want. And the expo. And the expo. So I want to take pictures probably. I'm going to take more pictures today of the events we go to so you can see the speakers. I'll zoom in. I got Annie Elise yesterday, a few of those. Um, but we're headed out now. It's raining and we're going to get started on the second presentation, the second, um, the second talk. Yeah. kind of wanted to go to the John Walsh one. Yes. Um, yeah, but me too. I think you chose one instead. No, John Walsh is one I want to go to. And then there's okay. also... From father to... Yes. What, no, that's a like good that. one. And then there's the one before it is the other father, uh, the Ramsey one. Job in Yeah, Jobinet. yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that case, to be okay. honest. <laughs> we don't have time to get into it now, but we will drive over there now and get started on day two.
So what do you think? Looks okay. What do you think about the uh, James John James John Ramsey Ramsey John Ramsey? John Ramsey. What do you think about that whole thing? What, did you go into it? Did you go out of it thinking any differently than when you went in? Yes. And explain. Because I learned how easy it is to believe the media. And it makes me, I don't know, makes me want to make sure that when we report anything. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to show when we report anything that we do our research. And Not just sure, media. Right. Yeah. But make sure that what we say, we, we make sure we say that it's alleged or it's theory, you know, not cold hard fact, unless it is. Unless it's a cold hard fact, yeah. Yeah, yeah just... And, and looking into what the police department is like. Like if it's some small police department that they don't have any cases like that. Because this took, case in, took place in Boulder, Colorado. He said they didn't even have a, a no. uh, what was it, a, um, not a crime unit, but a, like they, they didn't deal with many no. murders. Which is weird because I thought Boulder was a large. Me too. But he said it was a smaller police department. And that's the problem, like, smaller police departments should not be allowed to take on murder cases if they haven't done a certain number in a certain number of years. You know what I mean? Not one like that. They should be required to bring in expert help. But I guess what gets me the most is I had this preconceived notion that no matter what, as DNA technology gets you know, more advanced, that they'll always take cold cases and, and the um, evidence and keep checking it. Yeah, and they did. As it advanced, yeah. they refused. They refused. And there was so much evidence that they didn't yep. even test at all. I'm trying to look, the, the, the investigator's name, the reporter's name was Woodward. Woodward, I think, and she's pushing for them to retest some of the stuff they never did DNA They testing. never did any. That is insane. Wasn't it the rope? I mean, there was the rope, there was the duct tape, there was her panties, what is her... What was that, comb with hair or something? No, it was the, I don't know what it's called, but the thing they used to uh, tie, you know, they used one of those things to... And they didn't DNA test that. How ridiculous. What were those called? I don't know, tie they wrap? used it to... Uh, no. They take it, Fine. put the rope around it, and twist it. Oh. With the rope. Oh, I yeah. don't know what that's oh, called. Yeah. I guess it's a little bit too wow. much information. But, it's okay. Um, Things you'd think would be obvious you'd want to test. But even her, her panties, I mean, and her So some of the stuff I noticed clothes. she said was DNA tested but not touch DNA tested. So not with, right. newer techno not with also, the newest technology. The, even the actual small amount of DNA that they do have, they refuse to test it using the new... Yeah. technology that um, has to do with genealogy testing, but they keep saying, oh, it, it doesn't matter, it won't work. But they're not even trying. Not even trying. So, it made me also learn that a lot of legislation needs to be passed, and everybody needs to fight for the I don't know, powers that be to do everything they can in every case. And immediately, and instead of immediately going after family, immediately looking at what the family says happened and trying to prove it right, not trying to prove it wrong. Right. Finding evidence that proves their story is true. Most people are just like, they want to debunk what the, what the family says so they can, like, throw blame at them immediately. Well, it gets to a point where it doesn't matter. It's the... Media has said the same thing over and over and over, villainizing the parents. So after a while, like that's what happened, mm -hmm. and you can't change anybody. Everyone believes the media about it, and we're going to be like unpopular for saying all this. Well, I guess I can tell you, you know, because of the preconceived notion. If we're going to be unpopular, I'm going to we're going to cover cases like the one I told you last night. I'm not going to say the name of it because I want to surprise people about the thing we're covering, but that case last night. Yeah. Where I'm gonna give it away, I guess. They call it the Gone 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 Girl, gone girl Hoax. 
Yeah. And everyone has a certain belief about it. And if they haven't watched the documentary, this supports the fact of exactly what happened to her. In their case, though, it got proven with evidence. Something so opposite. her case. And I'm not saying that. Horrible. I'm not saying the Ramseys are in. I just I wish if they would just go and test everything. Yeah. Then we'd know for sure. Either way. But we can't. I, it, nobody. It, there can't be a resolution until that happens. And you can't say yes, they're definitely guilty, or yes, they're definitely innocent. You can't. Right. Nobody can until it's proven. But the media said, media doesn't say they're guilty, but it's basically saying they're guilty. Well, the Cowboys do. Yeah. It's horrible. Uh, it's... Anyway. So. <laughs> we got, we found this perfect spot to have lunch. Jen was like, I need to get out of, out of here. There's way more people today on Saturday than there was on, so on Friday. Busy. I'm so glad we did what we did yesterday. Me too. I mean, like, yesterday was awesome. You never would have gotten those pictures today. No, because Andy never. Elise wasn't even there. Right. And neither were Crime Weekly. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Neither were, um... Well, Rachel was there. Rachel, Rachel was Shannon there. actually got her... Signature. Signature this I got that video. Yeah. So, I'm really happy about those. I mean, those are really big channels. They are a big channel. And um, we're going to take a break here. We have to go back to the car. We're skipping a couple of sessions because we really want to get to the 3 o'clock one, which was the um, Vallow. Lori Vallow. Lori Vallow. So we're going to have lunch at this. I'm sorry, Asian, guys. We're having some wine. Whatever. <laughs> Asian fusion place. We'll, and we'll get Thanks for um, hanging out with us this weekend virtually, and um, I am posting some live things, some shorts, and just so you can see kind of little things. I'm sorry, we're doing I'm distracted. The There's a beautiful dress up there. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, they have some really interesting things going on here. It's very, very, very busy. Very busy. Not just CrimeCon, there are other people. Which is here. hard for us. We're not good around. Um, Especially me. I'm a little bit sensitive. A little sensitive. Know. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah, we're going to eat, and then we're going to get back. Well, might go to the car and rest a little. I don't no, know. I don't want to go to the car. It's so. raining out. It's like it's daylight in here and everything. So. This should take the edge off a little, being around that many people. So, okay. That much wine. It was only, it was filled to about here. I think it was like 17 bucks, too. $15. $15. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I expected, like, a little bit more. Yeah, it's funny. So, I'm trying there to close. I'm trying to close out. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Help me close out. You close out. That's all, folks. <laughs> no. All right. It's it's. We don't always want to be that serious, right? No, I mean, of course not. Maybe some people think we joke too much. I don't know. Do they? No. I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't. I just don't want to come across insensitive because these are sensitive topics. We're real people. So, but we're we're real people, and so are you. And you know, we're gonna be real. When we get serious, we get serious. Yeah. But we can't be serious all the time. And we, you know, we need a break. So yeah. we're taking a break, bringing everyone else along too, and that's just part of what we do. It. We're just ourselves. Yeah. Take it or leave it. <laughs> you can close out. Okay. So we're gonna finish eating. Well, we're gonna. Eat. We haven't even started yet uh, at this Asian fusion restaurant deal. Um, then head back over. There's two. There's like three more sessions we want to go to, and uh, that'll be Saturday. That'll be finish it for Saturday. And we may do a live tonight. Depends how exhausted we are and the timing and my phone battery. Because it'll be a full oh, night. You know, I uh, when we got back yesterday, I went to I laid down, laid down. I was out for the whole yeah. night. From 7 o'clock. Yeah, yeah that's I was crazy. done. Okay. I was done. So, so, can I close out okay. now? Do you have another story? No. Okay, all right. We're going to eat. We're going to go to three more sessions. We might have a live, and that'll be Saturday. So, see you in a bit.
77 days. Whew, it's warm. It's very warm. Wow. So this is day three. I hope you all aren't tired of seeing CrimeCon. <laughs> We're not, well, there's so much. I'm not tired of seeing CrimeCon. I'm just tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're we got a we slept in and then we're going to a couple things in the afternoon. The first is putting people ahead of programming. It's an ethics another ethics one that really interests us. The second one is amazing. It's about the case of um, the bones that were found in Elk Valley, Tennessee, in 1985, which was only known as the Baby Girl case because they couldn't figure out who it was until 2022 when they determined it was 15 year old Tracy Sue Walker of Lafayette, Indiana, who had gone missing in 1978. There's a, there's a TBI agent. Sorry, I talked. No, about. I'm just saying that's crazy. It's crazy. There's a TBI agent, uh, Brandon Elkins, who's going to be talking about the case and what they're doing to try to figure out who did this. That one is, I can't wait. Do you know who found? the remains they, you know they never say who finds them you know what i mean yeah no I was so just wondering, sometimes right? if a fisherman finds something in the water this one i yeah. think it rolled down it rolled down uh, by a road in the bank, I believe. yeah in the bank. it was something like that and it was just like out in elks valley and yes. middle of nowhere this place yeah. is like mining community there's mines everywhere yeah. They just found those bones and then they couldn't That's identify crazy. who it was and it was so long ago it makes you realize that cases are never closed i mean like that's true. they get cold but there's always a chance 1985 and still in 2022 tbi is still investigating they have a whole cold case unit yeah so we're looking forward to today i'm gonna again can't record anything we're gonna get some pictures uh from these talks and um we don't have anything else to do then no this afternoon we'll probably relax and go look around maybe do some shopping bass or, pro shops yeah i think we'll go to bass pro shops because we got those gift cards that were donated thank you thank you i forgot the name which i don't well. think he minds but i did mention it in one of our lives and i thank yeah. everyone yeah i had his name listed so that'll be today really looking forward to that second talk the first one too that sounds interesting yeah. and um the first one is more for research like as far as um doing youtube and um how we the best way to do it how we report yeah what you can say what you can't say or shouldn't say right because it, there's such a fine line i think especially on youtube because um i think someone said yesterday that like the media the mainstream media they have rules that they have to go by legal rules yeah. Le legal yeah. rules and it's very very like questionable about youtube like what can we do or what yeah because they have and, they have lawyers yeah i mm -hmm. don't know if if there are legal rules yet for youtube they're, i think they're the it's, same but the, like that case of the the poor podcaster who put out uh, um autopsy photos yeah i i don't know it like i'll have to go know. watch that again because i'm not sure what her she was, deal was I heard them say she was a newer yeah. one. She was newer yeah. and didn't know any better, didn't have a lawyer to advise her, so... Well, I just wonder how she got a hold of that. That's the question. I don't know. It was act they, she said it was accidentally released without it being blanked out. It was supposed to have been blanked but out. But I would think any anybody with a brain wouldn't put autopsy photos with you know without blanking yeah. them out a little bit I mean, or something. At least making them fuzzy. It was even like <laughs> when we found what well, we didn't know what it was. We didn't know if it was rocks or remains, but we knew common sense. You don't put that on the internet. Right. Right? So... Well, and you know what little we put we fuzzed out anything right. that would be yeah but an autopsy photo i mean yeah that's bad all right we're gonna let our things our devices charge a little more and then we're gonna head in drink a coffee drink our coffee and then head in for day three of crime con yep. last day last day i'm very glad we came me too
on the back. So, okay, so we're done. Prime con, kind of sad. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Very much. So you can see it right over there. That's where we were. Convention was. Now we're leaving. So we are on our way out. We're probably gonna use, like we said earlier, the gift cards that we got. Um, Bass Pro Shops. For Bass Pro Shops before we head home. But um, what do you think? Oh, I want to go next experience. year. I want to go next year in Denver. I'm you already looking to, forward to it. You want to go to Denver? Yeah, up to next year. Yeah, um, don't we know. Got, we got a lot out of it. A little bit of saving up for that one, I guess. Well, yeah. But you, you said you'd like to. I would love to go every year, yeah. but it's going to be tough. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, that's a whole different, a whole different thing having to travel like that. I mean. Nashville's only four hours from us, so. A lot can happen in a year. Don't know yeah. where we're gonna be in a year. What, what other creators will know, what other people will meet, organizations now that I know we have to hook up with, and advocacy groups, and law That's enforcement what I said. contacts, like, we, so much. We gained a lot from this, I think. A lot of knowledge and contacts that I think will help us going forward, so. That's it for us here at CrimeCon. Thank you all for coming along with us on this amazing experience and um, we will see you next time. Bye.